hello. You're probably like, are those dishes the same dishes? Yeah, these are the same exact dishes. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm actually making the bacalao, like I said in the last video. Um, so I'm gonna use six eggs. These are extra large, we do use large to extra large eggs. Two of the salted, it's usually, it's, it's still called bacalao, but it's actually um, pollock, whatever. Two pounds, I know back in New York, I think they're 11 or 12 ounces, but out here they're a pound each, which I'm very happy about. Three large uh, potatoes. I'm gonna peel those, don't worry. Um, yeah, if you can use three large, use four medium. Uh, salt, I'm sorry, pepper, we don't need salt. Vegetable oil, onions. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel the potatoes. You're gonna rinse off the cod, I mean the pollock, but you don't have to soak it. This is the great part, you do not have to soak this. Um, so I'm really happy about that but you do have to rinse it off a lot. So I'm going to rinse this off, peel the potatoes, um, get everything that goes in the pot initially in the pot, and then I'll show you what, what it looks like after that. Whew. So here's the eggs, I put them in, I put six in. The potatoes, I peeled them and cut them in half, and then the fish I put on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour water to fill this up, and then boil it for, I'm actually probably gonna put this in a different pot, not gonna lie. like. I want a big pot uh, and boil this for 12 minutes then I'm gonna take out the fish and the eggs and then I'm gonna let it go um, till it's been about a half an hour for the potatoes so they all cook together and the salt that's coming out of the fish when you boil it will be absorbed by the potatoes that's actually a really cool trick that I learned and I was like I'm not soaking this and rinsing this forever so I'm gonna switch pots and then I'll um, come back when we're ready to start like the next step so I'll see you in a moment so there's only a few more minutes for this to boil. So I'm gonna cut up the onions. So these are smaller than I like. So I'm actually gonna use like three, but I typically use like one large or medium onion. Um, I'm gonna use about three of these and oil to coat this pan. And so we're just gonna get it a little bit um, like glisteny. Uh, you want the onions to start to kind of, um, how do I explain it? Yeah, you just kind of want them to, to kind of give up a little bit of their water and whatnot. And um, and then I'm probably going to have to do this on a plate because normally I try and time it better. I didn't. I'll put this on a plate so that when the onions are like glistening or whatever, I will put the eggs I'll put in cold water and peel. The fish will go in with the onions. So I'll show you that in a moment. I know you can't see it that well, but um, these have been cooking for about six minutes on like medium high heat and with a little bit of oil and now it is time to put the uh the fish that i fished out <laughs> of the water i don't know why i decided to cut it into these shapes i was thinking about other shapes and i was like nope there's one in these shapes so this will go in here i'm just gonna put it back on the fire it's just harder to see when it's back here i'm gonna add a little bit more oil chop it up largely and then start mixing it and folding it and then when the potatoes are done I'm gonna let them cool for a little while the eggs I peeled let them cool for a little while so I can handle them or probably just put them on that plate um, and then uh, I'll just mix it all together but I'm gonna add the pepper now too not a lot maybe like a teaspoon okay I just hurt myself trying to open this there we go maybe like a teaspoon of pepper there you go. That was probably more than a teaspoon. Not the point. All right. So I'll see you when I'm ready to put in the potatoes. Hey, peeps. Hey, mama. Uh, I am extremely sorry. I, I can't pet you. I'm doing food stuff. No, I can't pet you. <laughs> sorry. So I got on a call with a friend while I was finishing this. And so I couldn't kind of show you what I did. But like it cooked, right, for like 10 minutes. I put the potatoes on a plate and cut them up. And then I just mixed them in. I thought initially it was too many potatoes. It looks like too many potatoes, right? No, it's actually really perfect because this was maybe a pound and a half of potatoes for like two pounds of meat. Um, and the onions got a little crisp, which I liked, or a little uh, uh, fried. There we go, which I liked. And the eggs are just over there. And this is actually like a coconut. This is a sweet drink, so this is kind of salty. So I actually did like the really sweet uh, drink that I made with it, which I will hopefully do a video in the future. We'll see. No, no pressure on me, hopefully. But this was delicious. I just finished a plate. <laughs> that plate was mine. I'm going to go for another plate and then I'm going to put this away. 
But I hope you enjoyed this video. I will try and get the instructions as best I can at the bottom. Ask me any questions. You can of course use less potatoes. You can use whatever. You can make it as small or as big as you want. I made this for my family last time, which is why there was so much. But yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.